Aloha eka ohana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is interesting. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be great. This specific thing of one product, three different techniques, all came from a night of playing with makeup with my mom. She had bought a pack of Ardell lashes from Marshalls and asked me, uh, could we play with makeup tonight? I said, yeah, totally. And so when I think of the older generation, you know, they're not all about these millions of products. It's overwhelming, you know, and it might be something that we're comfortable doing on a day-to-day -day basis as millennials. But I mean, if you think of your mom or your grandma, and trust me, it's not that I'm saying they can't be that extra go grandma mom. I mean, do it, do the whole step-by-step, -step, go for it. But I mean, finding what works right for every specific person, every individual, because it's not a one size fits all. When I was doing her makeup, I thought, you know what, mom, I'm gonna use this one thing and I'm gonna do your brows, your liner, and your eyelashes, your mascara. And it was a great turnout. I didn't think it would turn out that great, but it was really good. It turned out really nice. Again, it always comes down to hand pressure and technique and all that kind of stuff and finding what works well for your face shape, your skin type, whatever it is. When I did this technique on her, I thought, yes, because this is one product and it's about eight or nine bucks. That's two things that she doesn't have to worry about getting specifically for those places. You know, like her eyebrows, you need an eyebrow pencil. Liner, you need an eyeliner, but really you can use one thing for three things but I thought it was really cool and I thought I'd share what I did on her on myself because it worked I know I'm like wearing snake print I got these hoop earrings on which I'm not always necessarily into hoop earrings but these crystal things oh my goodness I couldn't resist and I just looked at the makeup and I said give it to me anywho one product three techniques let's do it so here we go three techniques one product L'Oreal waterproof voluminous carbon black mascara everyone has heard of this so it's really personal preference as far as to what shade you want i was playing around with makeup one night with my mom and i just thought how can i make this as easy as possible for her when she's by herself because we live on two separate islands and what can she do with just one product that she can use for multiple purposes on her face this was one of it i just pulled it out and i used it for three things now one of the three things i used it for was actually for her eyebrows and as you can see I already have my eyebrows filled in but you can also use this as a kind of brow tint if you will since we're already on the brows let's just go ahead and do it so what I like to do for the brows is you can actually wipe off the excess I know this is probably waste to some of you I will use this for another technique as well. Wipe off a lot of the excess or even in the bottle, get the majority of it off so that you're left with a black brow tint. So once you've gotten the majority of it off, I will just go with this and I will ever so slightly, you do not wanna be pressing this down or pressing it in because you'd be left with a big black mark on your brow. So be very gentle and very light, light strokes. And this will just give the slightest tint to the brow see how that just already it already gives a bit of a shade darker and then my also trusty guide for the other techniques that i have is an angled liner brush or an angled brow brush or whatever you have so if i hadn't had my brows filled in already i would go ahead with the angled liner in the product that i already wiped off the majority of the spoolie with grab some of that and go to town and fill in my brows so obviously you want to go light-handed dip it in wipe off the excess and then start to fill in. If you want a little bit more definition or you want a bit more color, I'm just gonna fill in a couple of holes that I see peeking through. And this is all with one product. This is with one mascara. Yeah, this is just a quick and easy way to use what you already have towards something that you might need. It's cool. I just defined the outer part of my brow just to give a little bit of dimension. And now we're gonna move on to the next technique. So the first one was brows. Now it's gonna be for liner. So again, I'm gonna go in what I wiped off, the spoolie, go a little bit at a time. And then I'm just gonna go and line my eyes. Now even this, you can use this type of brush. This is from Morphe M250. And just get that quoted, quoted, coated. See. You see that? I should have done that from the beginning. Look at that. Look at that. You can smudge this. You can smoke it out. You can blend it out with another shadow. Look at that. 
I just lined my eyes with the mascara. And then of course, what it's meant to be, we use it for mascara for the last technique. I will advise that if you are going to curl your lashes, I would curl them before you do this eyeliner technique. I found that if I curled my lashes after, you'll have to go back in and fill it in again. So I'm just gonna go in and curl the lashes. I'm here. Okay, Kim. I'm on my conference call right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know, look at the difference that mascara does. <gasps> I almost don't want to put lashes on, but I think I will because I just have to. I'm going to go ahead and put lashes on and zoom you guys back out and then we'll maybe complete the rest of the face. I have lips I have to do. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I know that I was supposed to wait and film the lippy part. I just saw this red lip sitting here and I said yes. This is the satin lip, ultra satin lip from Colourpop's collaboration with Brev and Rock. It's in the shade Wig and it's nice. It's not completely drying. It's comfortable. It has a sheen to it. It is a satin lip. So I hope you enjoyed one product, three techniques. I hope it can save you some money. I hope you take what you like and don't take what you don't like and use it however you want to and just kind of explore with the makeup that you already have. Use an eyeshadow for a blush. Use a blush for an eyeshadow. Use an eyeliner for your brows. Use a brow pomade for your eyeliner. I mean, use it to your advantage. You know, explore the different ways that you can use the collection that you already have without thinking that you need every new thing that comes out, which apparently is happening by the load. One thing after the other. And there's this huge wave of foundations coming out now and I can't even wrap my mind around it. And I'm not gonna try to because I have more than enough that I need as much as it is a passion of mine and a desire it's just what's realistic am I using all of this stuff that I have right now no am I using it every day on a daily basis no if there's any way that I can come up with techniques and different ways of using it when I already have it I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna share it with you if it works for me sometimes what doesn't work for me might work for you and what works for you might actually work for me so you gotta share it too you know it's just this big bowl of techniques of makeup and cosmetics and i love it i love you so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click the little bell so once you hit the subscribe button click the bell and that will notify you every time that i upload which is every wednesdays at 11 a.m pst which is 8 a.m in hawaii if you do live in the islands so i'll see you in the next video guys i love you Bye.